G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now the focus of today's video is going to be around a new feature rolling out to Microsoft lists called Apply Filters uh, and also Filter Pills. Now I like to think of Microsoft lists as Excel spreadsheets on steroids. We tend to think of document sets as folders on steroids, so lists can be thought of in a similar manner. Now if you've ever worked with Microsoft lists, especially large ones, and you're doing some filtering, quite often it's, it's uh, hard to visually see what filters have been applied. So with this new update and feature rolling out, it's going to be really easy to visually see what filters have been applied to your list. So let's jump in and have a look. So we can see here I am in uh, Microsoft Lists. I've got a statement of work uh, contract list um, uh, available on the screen to me here. Now let's start doing some filtering and let's see these uh, applied filters in action. So we can see here I might want to filter based on a particular column. So let's have a look at the progress column and let's filter by uh, a particular value. So let's say contract in motion and we'll hit apply. That then is going to show me those items that have that particular uh, value in the column. Now what we can see here is we've got this new section here across the top in the header of the list that shows me what filter has been applied. Now if I do another filter on another column, so if I go uh, on the category column this time and go renovation and hit apply, we've now got two filters applied, we've got one item, but you can see I've got two, um, you can see in the, in the header there that I've got visible visibility over what has been applied. Now we can also see on the right hand side that I can clear all filters or I can just clear one filter at a time. And if I click this clear filters on the right hand side, we can then clear the entire uh, filter box there. Now this also applies to grouped views as well. So if I wanna group a view, let's group a view based on priority. So we'll go group on priority and we can see here that we've got high, low and medium. Now if we apply a filter to this grouped view, again, let's choose the progress, let's filter by uh, creation. So we'll go apply and you can see it's still grouped by the uh, priority column, but then we've also applied this creation filter as well. Now what happens if we save this as a view? So let's go up to the top uh, and we'll go save view as, let's go uh, filtering example as the view, we'll make it public and we'll save that. So now let's flick back to uh, all items and we can see we've got a full list here. Now let's go to filtering example and you can see that those, um, the, the filtering pills and the applied filters do get saved to that view as well. All right, now what about from the SharePoint experience? So you can see here that I'm in the Microsoft Lists, uh, the context of Microsoft Lists. If we jump across to the SharePoint experience here, so you can see here, same list, but now I'm accessing this through SharePoint. All right, so let's just have a look here. We'll flick between our different views. I'm just gonna refresh this so that the new view uh, appears for us. Let's go to all items and we'll go to filtering example. You can see that I'm logged in as Alex, but because I created that view as a public view, he gets access to that as well. And you can see that those uh, applied filters and these filter pills actually do come through and flow through into the SharePoint uh, context as well. So if we jump back and let's just have a look at all items again, we'll go and we'll filter by uh, design and renovation and let's see what the experience is like inside of SharePoint. So we've got category, we're filtering by these two values this time. And again, we can do this uh, and add additional um, filters and let's go for these three. So we can see now, that I'm filtering by on the category and progress, and you can see what values are being filtered uh, in a nice new visual representation of that data. So a really great user experience uh, rolling out to Microsoft Lists, um, the applied filters, and also from a visual side, the, uh, the, the filter pills there as well. Thanks for watching, see you in the next episode.